The early morning sky of October 29, 2025, is silent, but telescopes across the entire planet are aimed at a specific point, Comet 3i Atlas. There is no exaggerated brightness, no tail visible to the naked eye, yet the sensors detect something pulsing, an unstable thermal signature, a subtle variation in the spectrum of the carbon dioxide jetting from its nucleus. It is the day of perihelion, the moment this interstellar visitor reaches its closest approach to the sun, and there is a scientific tension in the air, as if everyone is expecting behavior that defies predictions. 3i Atlas is a wandering body, and the word wandering has never seemed so literal. Since its discovery on July 1, 2025, by the Atlas system in Chile, it has proven unpredictable. Its trajectory is hyperbolic, a line that cuts across the solar system and never returns. Most comets are part of a family that orbits the Sun cyclically, but this one is not. It comes from the interstellar depths, a region no telescope has yet been able to fully decipher. Every fragment of gas and dust it spews forth now is a clue about the place it came from. Perhaps the cold remains of a planetary system that died billions of years ago. Meanwhile, in observatories in Hawaii, Chile and Spain, astronomers watch with a mixture of fascination and frustration. The past weeks were marked by an unfavorable solar conjunction. The comet was practically behind the Sun from Earth's perspective, making any direct observation almost impossible. Only recently, through space-based instruments like the Solar Orbiter and the James Webb, has it been possible to resume tracking. The images show something disconcerting. 3i Atlas is behaving differently from any other known comet. Its coma, the cloud of gas and dust surrounding the nucleus, is irregular and seems to oscillate, as if pushed by internal forces or by some asymmetry in the sublimation process of its compounds. Spectroscopic analysis reveals an unusual composition. Unlike traditional comets from our solar system, which are rich in frozen water, 3i Atlas exhibits a predominance of carbon dioxide. It is as if it formed in a region where water was scarce, but dry ice was abundant. This alone suggests a very different origin, perhaps around a star colder than the sun, or in a molecular cloud where the temperature never allowed water to condense. This chemical difference makes it a messenger from another cosmic neighborhood, a time capsule from an era and a place completely alien to our solar history. As the comet approaches perihelion, the sun's heat triggers violent reactions. Jets of gas escape in unpredictable directions, slightly altering the body's rotation and creating small brightness variations that confuse prediction models. 3i Atlas seems to defy known thermodynamic laws, releasing energy in almost pulsating surges. Astronomers try to estimate its mass and size based on these variations, but the numbers don't add up. Something about it isn't behaving as expected. Some experts suspect internal fragmentation. Others talk about structural instability caused by the extreme difference between the cold zones and the regions exposed to direct solar radiation. The interest is immense, because every particle released by this body is a chemical message from interstellar space. The samples collected by orbital spectrometers could reveal which elements and molecules existed in this traveler's cradle. The most accepted theory is that 3i Atlas formed over 7 billion years ago in an already extinct region of a neighboring galaxy. This means it carries within its structure a memory of a time prior to Earth's own formation. Studying its composition is, in a way, studying the remote past of the matter that now forms planets and stars. The trajectory of 3i Atlas has intrigued dynamicists. It does not follow a smooth curve, but a slightly irregular one, as if small additional forces, perhaps interplanetary electromagnetic fields, were interfering with its path. This anomaly is minimal, almost imperceptible, but enough to arouse the interest of those who remember the controversies around Oumuamua.
Some say the shape of the nucleus could generate non-gravitational acceleration through asymmetric gas emissions. Others avoid speculating, aware that any non-standard hypothesis attracts more headlines than solid data. On Earth's surface, the public follows the phenomenon through space agency broadcasts. Virtual telescopes and science communication channels show real-time simulations. Hubble images captured weeks ago are enlarged and interpreted by machine learning algorithms to predict how the comet will react to the sun's heat. They know this is the most critical moment. If the nucleus is fragile, it may disintegrate. If it is compact, it will survive and continue its journey into the galactic void, slowly disappearing like a distant memory. 3 eye Atlas, even invisible to the naked eye, has already become an almost mythical figure. It represents the boundary between the known and the unfathomable, the frontier where human curiosity touches the cosmic unknown. Today it cuts through the solar system like a silent intruder, indifferent to the attention it arouses. The particles breaking free from its surface evaporate and mix with the solar wind, carrying with them traces of an ancestral chemistry. When it finally moves away, nothing will remain but records, graphs, and some lost dust that may one day mix with the currents of deep space. And yet its passage will leave a mark, the memory that we are not the center of anything, just another brief port in the midst of the infinite route of interstellar travelers. The day breaks with a strange light in the Atacama Desert. The air is dry, the sky clear, and inside the observatory's metallic domes, the antennas begin to move with millimeter precision. It is October 30, 2025, the day after 3I Atlas's perihelion. The comet is slowly beginning to move away from the sun, and tracking stations are trying to recover the optical signal lost in the recent weeks. The first images arrive, diffuse and grainy, but reveal something unexpected. The nucleus appears to have survived. No explosion, no visible fragmentation, just an irregular shape that still releases jets of gas and dust in unpredictable directions. The scientific community is thrilled. It is rare for an interstellar visitor to withstand such a close solar approach. While some comets from our own solar system break apart under the heat, 3I Atlas resists. This suggests a denser structure, possibly partly metallic or composed of ice with more stable chemical bonds than usual. In the Space Physics Laboratory in Bern, Switzerland, a group of researchers compares the new spectra obtained by the James Webb Telescope with the pre-perihelion data. The emission curves have changed, the carbon dioxide has decreased, and there are signs of complex organic compounds, carbon chains that may have been released now after the extreme heating. These signals spark a silent excitement. It's not life, but a glimpse of prebiotic chemistry, the same type of molecule that could one day have given rise to life in some distant point of the cosmos. The simulations indicate that 3I Atlas underwent a process of thermal differentiation, releasing deeper layers of material, perhaps never before exposed. Every new measurement is a window into a time older than the solar system itself. Meanwhile, the Solar Orbiter spacecraft, positioned between Earth and the Sun, sends a data sequence showing the comet's impact on the solar wind. The magnetic field in the region suffered small fluctuations, and there are charged particles that seem to follow paths aligned with 3I Atlas's main jet. This behavior is unprecedented, a comet capable of locally altering the pattern of the solar magnetic field lines. This raises bold hypotheses about the electromagnetic interaction of interstellar objects traveling at extremely high speeds. As 3I slash Atlas moves into a more visible region of the sky, astronomers from different parts of the world prepare coordinated observation campaigns. ESA, NASA, and the Japanese consortium, JAXA, are joining forces to track the object over the coming weeks. 
geostationary satellites, orbiting telescopes, and ground-based observatories will be synchronized to create a continuous line of observation. The goal is to measure the mass loss, residual brightness, and possible alterations in the emission spectrum. If the comet remains stable, it could become the first interstellar object to be monitored in detail throughout its entire cycle of approach and departure from the Sun. In early November, 3I slash Atlas begins to emerge from solar conjunction. From the northern hemisphere, astronomers observe a small bluish-green dot appearing on the horizon before dawn. The images are transmitted in real time, and the faint, almost ghostly glow confirms the comet is still active. The public follows the online broadcast, fascinated by the idea of seeing something that came from another star system, something that will cross the sky for a few weeks and then disappear forever. As it moves away, refined trajectory calculations show that 3I slash Atlas will pass about 0.65 astronomical units from Venus around November 3. Although there is no impact risk, the instruments on the European Bepi Colombo orbiter are already programmed to record the passage. They hope to capture unprecedented data on the behavior of the coma and tail, and the effect of the solar wind in a more inner region of the solar system. Any visible alteration will be a scientific treasure. In NASA laboratories, scientists begin discussing an emergency project to use the Lucy spacecraft, originally destined to study Jupiter's Trojan asteroids, to briefly redirect its course and observe the comet from a distance. It is just a proposal for now, but it reveals the level of importance 3I slash Atlas has gained. It is not just an exotic celestial body, it has become a point of convergence between astronomy, chemistry, physics, and cosmic philosophy. Simultaneously, curiosity grows about the comet's exact origin. Dynamical analysis suggests it may have come from a region near the star Vega in the constellation Lyra, one of the brightest in the sky. If confirmed, it means 3I slash Atlas traveled for hundreds of thousands of years before crossing our solar system, and now, as it recedes toward interstellar space, it carries with it intact samples from a region of the universe completely different from our own. By December, the comet will still be monitorable. Its distance from Earth will increase, but the echo of its passage will remain alive on screens and in data. Every graph, every spectral line, every light curve represents a fragment of this ongoing cosmic story. 3I slash Atlas leaves no visible trails, but it imprints a new question upon science. How many other silent visitors are crossing the void between the stars at this very moment, bringing memories of worlds that no longer exist? 3I slash Atlas slowly disappears into interstellar cold, leaving behind an invisible trail of questions and wonder. Its passage reveals how much we still ignore about the cosmos and turns every gaze toward the sky into a reminder that we are merely spectators of a story much greater than ourselves.